Hey guys, uh, this is I here for vlog number two. Sorry it's been so long since the last one, uh, but here I am, day 24 in Linton, Indiana. Um, it's been, been a good day and been a good couple weeks since I recorded the last vlog. Uh, last time I talked to you, I was still in Pennsylvania. <clears throat> and since then I've gone into West Virginia, then to Ohio, then back into West Virginia, into Kentucky, and now finally in Indiana. Uh, we've hit mile 1,000 on the trip. Super exciting. Uh, also, I've already had our longest ride day, which was 120 miles in a day. Uh, super long ride, but it's been really great. Um, at this point in the trip, as we are now finally sort of hitting the Midwest, roads are getting a lot flatter, which is very nice. Um, very, very pleasant on the legs. To not be riding up hills, crossing Appalachia was tough. And yeah, the, the Rockies await us later in the trip, but for now we're enjoying the, the flatter roads. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we've also had a, a couple different build days since I talked to you last. Um, worked with a Habitat for Humanity affiliate in McConnellsburg, Pennsylvania, and in Huntington, West Virginia. Um, yeah, and had a good time at both. For one, we worked in the ReStore there, uh, and they had a very nice store. And then for the other, we worked with the, uh, they have a, a veterans program where they find housing specifically for veterans and work with the VA to facilitate that. Um, and we got to work on some of the houses that they're building for them. So that was really great. And we got a presentation from the executive director of the Huntington West Virginia Habitat for Humanity, and he was a very interesting guy, like very passionate about the cause, um, and they are doing really great things, so that was really nice. And also a couple of days ago, we worked with Youth Build in Louisville, Kentucky, uh, and Youth Build, also another very interesting organization that I have actually yet to get a chance to work with, and they take high school dropouts or sort of students from age to 16 to 24 are generally struggling in high school and, and need a leg up, and they help them get their GAD. Uh, they give them vocational training in some trade, and they also sort of help them live their lives and with any other issues in their lives, whether that be housing or uh, be legal issues and that sort of thing. So they sort of assist students. Um, working through that. Yeah, so Youth Build is very interesting to work with. And then the students do a lot of volunteering hours uh, to practice for, for the jobs that they're being trained for. So they work with Habitat for Humanity uh, and with Three Building Together to give their students those training. So very, very cool. And we helped them work uh, in their space with uh, weeding the garden that they have there and uh, painting a wood shop that they have. Um, so that was that was really fun. Uh, another thing that's been a huge part of the trip has been the homestays. I don't know, I talked about it very much in the last one, um, but so Bike and Build, in order for us to give as much of the money that we raised to affordable housing, we stay with different hosts. Uh, the large majority of the time that's with churches, uh, but a couple times we've had homestays, which I was just going into the first homestay when I talked to you last, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, it was the Jewish community in Harrisburg that came together to house us in different places. Um, and the home that we stayed in, uh, the family was super musical, so we spent the night uh, having just like a massive jam session and hanging out, and it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, they were really gracious to us. Um, another yeah, and then we have also had just very, some churches come together very impressively to take care of us and give us like amazing spreads of food uh, and had a lot of, mobilized a lot of people in their community to help us. And just generally speaking, we've been shown a lot of love from these different communities. Um, and last night we actually stayed in an individual family's home. We just happened to have a very big house. Um, and the mother of the family, her, her sister participated in a bike and build trip before. That's sort of how she got involved. Uh, and so they've been supporting bike and build since then. 
And yeah, it was so much fun. Um, so nice to be in a home and there'd be couches and that sort of thing. Uh, we do a lot of sleeping on pews and church floors, so always a nice change of place, not change of pace. Um, and they were super kind to us. Uh, so yeah, and then in terms of the team, everyone's for the most part doing really well. You can tell that people are getting stronger and riding better together and that sort of thing. Uh, we have had sort of a few minor injuries and well, some more minor than others. We're sort of see there's we do have one person who's been off the road for a week now and it's sort of not determined what's going to happen. He's having any trouble and yeah, we've had a few a, a few very minor crashes. Thankfully, very minor. Um, but generally speaking, people are doing really well, riding really strong. Um, yeah, really loving our team. It's a great group of folks. Uh, so yeah, that's that's my update as of right now. Uh, we are heading to somewhere else in Indiana tomorrow. I don't remember where, um, but hopefully it'll be a good ride. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon.